All right, so here's what we got today. So uh, if you're here Monday, there's Alex Trebek will not be making a second appearance, okay? <laughs> so we're not going to play a game. Today we're going to focus on rotation, all right? So we're going to do three moves, either 12 or 24 reps, depending on the move. So we'll do wood choppers, a lateral lunge, and then a deadlift and an upright row. I'm going to show you all three of those moves, okay? So don't worry. But we'll do first, second, third, big deep breath, and then we'll go back up the list, okay? So we go down it, we go up it, we rest, and then we do that twice, okay? So the first one, wood choppers. So I think everybody on this one, I don't think anybody on this one has a backpack. Oh, yeah. All right, so everybody should have their dumbbell for this, and what you're going to do is have your feet side by side, okay? And we're gonna make it about legs and core, not shoulders. So you'll rotate down, and you'll come up and over. Okay, so what I want us to do is I'm gonna count 12 on one side, 12 on the other, all right? And then I'll show you the second move, because I know if I show you the second move now, you ain't gonna remember how I'm gonna get to it anyway, all right? So, Everybody grab your dumbbells. Does anybody have a backpack? I don't think anybody in this group has been using a backpack. So everybody's got a, a dumbbell they can use. All right, perfect. All right, so you're gonna grab that dumbbell right in the middle. All right, feet close together. Hey, everything that we're doing, not every move, but most everything has lots of rotation. Please make it come from your core, not your arms. Okay, all right, so we're gonna do 12 and then we'll switch to the other side. Ready? Here we go for one, two, core tight, y'all, three, and then come up quickly. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, perfect, all right, same thing going the other way. So hey, you remember your feet should be side by side. Okay, ready, here we go for one, two, lots of legs, lots of core, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, come up quickly, nine, lots of rotation, 10, 11, and 12, beautiful. All right, the next one up, a lateral lunge, okay? This is a new one. So what you're gonna do is if you're holding the weight on your left side, that means you're gonna step out with your right leg at about a 45 degree angle, okay? So you can either hold it up here or down by your side. I like it up here. If you want an extra challenge, you're gonna hold it over your head, okay? So you're gonna step at a 45 degree angle and lunge, Push back to center. Lunge, push back to center. All right, we're gonna do six per side. Six per side. All right, and again, if you want that extra challenge, you're gonna hold that weight all the way overhead. All right, ready? So, hey, everybody put it in your left hand for me. That way I can kind of cue you all at the same time. So that means with your right foot, you step out at a 45 degree angle. Okay, ready? Here we go for one. Two, land on that heel, y'all. Three, and don't lean forward. Four, good, much better. Five, and six, good, switch hands. Those of y'all doing overhead, make sure you lock that elbow for me, okay? Lock that elbow. Ready, here we go, four, one, two, bend that back knee more, y'all. Three, Four, five, and six. Perfect, all right, next up, deadlift and upright row. I need y'all to think about uh, this move as if it's two distinctly separate movements, okay? So if you're doing it with a dumbbell, it's gonna look like this. Okay, you hinge, and as you come up, high elbows. So do the deadlift first, 
then your high elbows. Get up. Those of y'all that have kettlebells, if you have an appropriate kettlebell, I actually think it's easier to do it with a kettlebell. So hinge and row. Hinge and row. Do that one a lot. All right. Anybody that is nursing kind of a bad shoulder, you could do just deadlift instead. So you don't have to do the upright row. But if you do upright row gain, make sure that when you get to the top, see how my elbows are higher? That's what we want. So don't come to here like this. See how they're the same? Come here. All right, ready? All right, here we go for deadlift. And then upright row. Deadlift. Upright row. Deadlift. Upright row. Good. Number four. Five. Lead with those elbows. Six. Good. Remember, separate movements. Seven. So do your deadlift first, then your upright row. Good. Eight. Nine. Keep those shoulders back, y'all. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. All right, now don't go anywhere. So remember, if those y'all that were on, I said we go down the list and then we go up the list. So that means that move you just finished is what you do again. All right, so we're doing 12 more of those. All right, ready? Here we go for a one. Leading with high elbows. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, keep that good posture at the top, y'all. Seven, pull your chins back a little bit. Eight, there we go, batter. Nine, <laughs> 10, 11, 12. Perfect, all right, next up is that lateral lunge, all right? So everybody put it in your left hand for me. If you want that challenge, you're gonna hold it overhead. That means you're stepping out at a 45 degree angle with your right foot. All right, ready? All right, here we go. For one, two, three, land on that heel, y'all. Four, and don't lean forward. Five, much better. Six, and switch hands. So hey, real quick, before we go to this other side, so I'm watching a lot of you as you're stepping out, your upper body is moving forward. Okay, keep the upper body back. Really exaggerate that part of the move. All right, same thing on the other side. Ready, you're holding it up, move it up over your head. Here we go for one, two. Keep your upper body straight, three. Four, much better y'all, much better. Five, I like that. And six, awesome, awesome. All right, so we're back to wood choppers, right? So you're gonna grab your dumbbell, you're gonna hold it right in the middle. So I want you to bend your knees, okay? If all, all you're doing is this, okay, you're not getting the full benefit of the move, right? So everybody make sure you bend your knees and rotate. Ready? Here we go for one, two, come up quickly, three, Four, five, six, nice quick pace here. Seven, eight, core is tight. Nine, nice and high. 10, 11, 12. All right, hey, some of you need to straighten your arms a little bit more. So some of your arms are looking like this, right? So it kind of looks like this, big motion all the way up and overhead. All right, 12 going the other way, ready? Here we go, for one, so straighten your arms a little bit more. Two, big motion, three, there we go. Four, much better, y'all. Five, six, seven, eight, so much better. Nine, 10, 11, 12, all right, now, a couple of big deep breaths. 
we're gonna do that exact same format again. So that means those three moves, the exact same three moves. <laughs> so, yes. So that means wood choppers up next. That's what makes this workout so magical because some of the moves get doubled up. All right, so get ready for wood choppers. Wood choppers, feet together. Grab that dumbbell, ready? Here we go for one, two, three. Be powerful, y'all. Four. There we go. Five, real strong. Six, seven, eight, nine. Bend those knees, y'all. Ten. There we go. Eleven, twelve. Same thing on the other side. Ready? One, two, feet are side by side, y'all. Three, be real strong and rotate. Four, five, straighten those arms out a little bit more. Six, good, there we go, yeah. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, good, all right. Heart rate ought to be getting up there a little bit now. Put that weight in your left hand. We're doing that lateral lunge, lateral lunge. All right, if you want that challenge, hold it overhead, ready? Stepping out with the right leg, here we go for one. Lean back, y'all. Two, lean back. Three, Sarah, try it overhead for me. Four, good. Five, awesome, y'all. And six. Switch hands. Those of y'all that are doing overhead, you're actually gonna lock the elbow and don't bend it at all, okay? So just leave it overhead. Ready? Here we go for one, two, three. Good posture, gang. Don't lean forward. Four, five, and six. Perfect. All right, next up, deadlift and upright row. Hey, those of y'all holding the dumbbells, just try it for me. Try holding it right in the middle instead of on the ends. Let's see if that, I think that'll help some of y'all with the dumbbells and have a better angle. All right, ready? So here we go. Deadlift, upright row. Deadlift, turn it over, Sarah, and upright row. Deadlift. Upright row, you should be on her for four, so hold it like this. Deadlift, upright row, deadlift, upright row. Good, you should be on seven, eight, nine, better, y'all. 10, I like that grip better. 11, 12. All right, everybody stand up tall, don't go anywhere. Remember, we got to do that move again, going back up the list. Don't y'all just love it? I just love that format. It's one of my favorite. Down the list, up the list. Up, down, back, forth, back, forth. All right, ready? <laughs> All right, here we go. Back to deadlift and upright row. Here we go for one, two. Lead with high elbows. Three, four. Feel it in the front of your shoulders. Five, six. Seven, eight, I'll be starting to talk to you a little bit now. Nine, 10, I'll take that as a yes. 11, and 12. Good, all right, next up is that lateral lunge, all right? So let's everybody put it in the right hand this time. Let's put it in your right hand. That means you're stepping out with your left foot. If you want the challenge, put it overhead, ready? Here we go for one, two, three, four. Awesome, y'all. Five, form looks good. And six. Okay, switch hands. All right, last six of these, y'all. Last six. Ready for one, two, Three, land on that heel. Four, land on that heel. Five, and don't lean forward, gang. And six, 
Good, all right. Wood choppers. Wood choppers, feet together, grab the dumbbell right in the middle. Ready, here we go for one, two, bend those knees, y'all. Three, kind of squat down a little bit. There we go, four, yeah, good. Five, be powerful now, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Same thing going the other way. All right, last 12. Ready? Here we go for one, two, three, four. Power it up. Five. Power it up, y'all. Six. Come on, gang. Seven. You're doing awesome. Eight. Stay with it. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Awesome job. Awesome job. All right, gang. Everybody grab you a quick sip of water. Make sure you can see the board here. All right, so your next three exercises will be done the exact same way. So the first one is a plank jack. All right, so you'll be in a hand plank position. I'll show it to you and an alternative if you shouldn't be doing the hopping, okay? Second one is a V-chair tap with a press at the top of it. And then the third one is a push-up and pull through. Okay, and again, I'll show an alternative. Somebody should not be doing that mode, right? So first up, plank jacks. So you're gonna be down, okay, holding the hips down, hop out and in. Okay, can't see me. All right, so you're gonna do, we're gonna do 24 of those, hopping in and out, okay? Second exercise is the chair. All right, so you're gonna hold your dumbbells on the end. Hardest version is both feet up. That's a little easier, that's easier. Okay, so you're gonna tap, tap, press. Tap, tap, press, All right? Tap, tap, press, that equals one, All right? Now, on this next one, You're gonna do a push up and pull through. Where you place the dumbbell is really important, okay? So you should never have your hand on it until it's time to pull it through. Okay, so you guys can kind of see the dumbbell where it's at, all right? It's kind of like right underneath my forearm. So I'm gonna do a push up, I'm gonna pull it to the other side. Push up, pull it to the other side, right? Now, some of you I know are working through some shoulder issues, I don't want you doing that exercise, okay? So what you're gonna do instead is you're gonna have left leg out. What you're gonna do is you're gonna push up and push that dumbbell towards that knee. So up and push, up and push, okay? So if everybody will, get ready for plank jacks, plank jacks. All right, now, yes, thank you, Cheryl. Hang on, y'all. I forgot to show the alternative for this one. All right, so those of y'all that shouldn't be hopping, right, you're going to hold either hand or elbow, and what you're going to do is out, out. Okay? Thank you, Miss Cheryl. All right, gang, everybody get ready. All right, so I'm gonna count, it's kind of quick pace. I'm gonna count to 24. If you're doing the alternative, just keep alternating until I'm done counting. All right, ready? Hips are down, legs are straight. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, halfway, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 11, 12. Awesome job, awesome job. All right, grab your dumbbell, have a seat. So this is the V chair, right, where we tap, tap, press. You're gonna wanna hold the dumbbells on its ends on this one. 
Okay, now, this is all about rotation, right? So don't do this, all right? Rotate, rotate, press, all right? Ready, we're gonna do 12 of them, all right? So if you want the hardest version, both feet are up, all right? Ready, so sitting right on your tailbone. Here we go, tap, tap, press, tap, tap, Press, number three. Good, y'all. Four, eyes are slightly up. Five. Lean back a little bit with the shoulders gang. Six. So pull the shoulders back. Seven. Lots of rotation, y'all. Eight, the hardest version is both feet up. Nine, the next easiest is one foot down. 10, pull your shoulders back just a little bit, Leah. 11, right there, yep. And 12, perfect, all right, gang. So next thing up is the push-up with the pull-through. Oh, <laughs> put that sign down, Betsy. <laughs> no, wait, well, you may wanna save that sign for after this one. All right, so push-up and pull-through, right? So if my hands are here, right, which is about where you should have them, you want the dumbbell right here, right underneath that forearm, okay? Those of y'all that shouldn't be doing that, remember, you're gonna do a push-up and a knee crunch. Push-up and knee crunch, okay? All right, ready? All right, here, so when y'all, those of y'all doing the alternative, when you hear me get to six, you know to switch. All right, ready? Here we go for push-up and pull the weight across. Keep your hips down, gang. Push up and pull across. Push up and pull across. Push up and pull across. Good. Push up, keep your hips down, pull across. One more on this side, push up, pull across. Number seven, push up, pull across. Eight. Keep your hips down, gang. Hips down. Nine. There you are, Miss Maria. 10. I lost you. 11. And 12. Good, good. All right, big deep breath. Remember, we got to go back up the list. That means that bad boy right there is next. All right, those of y'all doing the alternative movement. Okay, if I'm pushing with my right arm, my right foot is flat on the ground, okay? It's only right arm, left leg, okay? All right, second set, ready? Uh, just, uh, and I'll show you an alternative, okay, babe? All right, ready? More push up and pull through. Here we go for one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good. All right, those of y'all, so I'm gonna show an alternative for Coach Ann here. The rest of you do V chair with press. All right, so Ann, if you've got a long band, I want you to wrap it around that bench press arm. I'm gonna show you this. So Ann, you're gonna feed it through like this. This is a move we did a couple of weeks ago. So feed it through, and you're gonna be right here. Okay, that big rotation. Okay, do 12 and 12. All right, gang, you guys are uh, doing V chair tap with the press, all right? So don't wait on me. Go ahead and start your count. Good, and step with your feet um, about only like two, three inches apart. Now we want the feet real close. It'll give you more rotation, better. Good, y'all, good. 
Hey, Virginia, if you'll flex your ankles a little bit for me. Right there, yep. Good, as you're finishing up V chair, okay, you're gonna go ahead and jump into plank jacks. Okay, plank jacks. Take a few more seconds, then we're gonna get together. Actually, you guys are, uh, go ahead and start on your plank jacks. 24 is your number on that one, okay? Really think about keeping your hips down and legs straight. So make your body as long as possible. And remember, those of y'all that shouldn't be doing that movement, just keep your hips down and step out, step in, step out, step in. That's your alternative on that one. Almost there, let's take about 10 more seconds. Those of y'all that are finishing up, grab you a quick sip of water. We don't take long, about 20, 30 seconds. We do those same three moves again, okay? Which means plank jack will be the next thing up. So the hardest part about a plank jack is to keep your hips down, but it's also the most important part, okay? So it's not just a cardio movement. There's a lot of core in it, but only if your hips are down in the right place. All right, so let's get back together here. We're getting ready to start on plank jacks. Start of round three, working down the list. Ready, here we go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, halfway. One, two, three, four, five, Six, hips down, seven, come on y'all. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, good job. All right, V-chair tap, V-chair tap, or those of y'all need that alternative, we're rotating with that band, all right? You guys count your own reps for me. So tap, tap, shoulder press, tap, tap, shoulder press. And remember, we're looking up just slightly and leaning back. Nice, y'all, good. Martha Rango, really think about your shoulders, hon, like pull your shoulders back and down for me. Yep, right there. You can stay in that position, it's a lot safer. Good, good, good. Leah, see if you can push your chest towards the ceiling a little bit, right there. Good. So Christine, try and take that dumbbell and actually tap the ground. Okay. As y'all are finishing up your V chairs, the next one is the fun one. Push up and pull through. Push up and pull through or push up and knee crunch. Or a, sorry, chest press and knee crunch if you need the alternative. All right, remember 12 is your number, right? So if you're doing the chest press and knee crunch, you do six and then you switch. Okay? All right, everybody hit it here. Count your reps for me. If you're doing that push up and pull through, keep your hips down, gang. It is a game changer on that move. Goes from like a, a five challenge to a 10. Let's go to 10. <laughs> Let's make it a 10. Hey, Cheryl, flex that ankle for me that's up in the air. Yep. Good. Hang in there, Magpie. You got it, girl. Real strong. Awesome, y'all. Awesome. So, Miss Ada, as you push the dumbbell up, bend the knee as it comes in. Correct. And you're actually kind of trying to angle the dumbbell towards the knee. There you go. Yeah. Good, good, good. All right, as you finish up the bottom of, push up and pull through. It's time to start again on push up and pull through. <laughs> you guessed it. All right, because we got to go up the list. We got to work up the list. I mean, starting at the bottom on what you just finished. Okay. All right. All right, here we go. Let's hit it, y'all. Come on, come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Only way you're gonna get stronger if you keep challenging yourself. 
Come on, Mr. Tucker, you got it, big man. Good, hey, Christine, um, lay all the way back on the ground and just do a chest press. And as you're doing it, no, don't sit up. So do a chest press and as you do it, pull a knee in, the opposite knee. Correct, correct. Real strong, gang. Make those push-ups count now. Let's get down nice and deep. And if you're finishing up, you can go ahead and go into your V chair, tap and press. V chair, tap and press if you're finishing the push-up and pull through. If you did that push-up right, your heart rate ought to be sky high right now. Okay, that's how it ought to feel. V chair, tap. So, hey, John. John, put both hands on it, on that band, and think, turn. Better, better. As you're starting to finish up some of your V-chair taps, then you'll go into your plank jack. Good, y'all, good. Yeah, that's better, John, much better. Good, keep your shoulders back, gang. Rotate from the hips, not with the arms. I want that core working. Awesome, y'all, awesome. When you get done, you go into your plank jacks or the plank with the side steps. Nice, gang, nice, good, good. Miss Catherine, see if you can lower your hips a little bit. Maybe about another inch lower. Right there. That's it, Catherine. Good. Good. Stay with it, y'all. Stay with it, Miss Jamie. You got it, girl. Push that pace, babe. Quick, quick, quick. Keeping those hips down on those plank jacks, gang. And as you're starting to finish up, some of you will be finishing, grabbing you a sip of water. I'll show you the next three exercises. Uh oh, I don't know if y'all can see that. My camera went blurry for a second there. All right, so I may have to explain it to you because it looks like the board's kind of blurry. <laughs> All right, but we're going to do toe taps or squat. So the toe tap is 24, and I'll show, because I'm going to show all of it to you, or a squat if you shouldn't be doing that impact. If you have a long band, you'll do the first one, which is a back extension with a twist. Otherwise, if you have a dumbbell, I'll show you a, a crunching motion. And then everybody has a dumbbell. We're going to do a, a lunged kickback. Okay. So this is what it looks like. All right. So the toe taps, you can use either the top of a kettlebell or the top of a dumbbell. Okay. And we're going to be here. So you're just lightly tapping on one, two, two. Okay. You should not be doing that movement on a kettlebell or a dumbbell. You're gonna do 12 squats. If you're doing the toe tap, you're doing 24, okay? Second move, back extension. If you have a long band, you're gonna use that band, okay? You're gonna lock the elbows, you're gonna pull back, and you're gonna twist, twist, let the tension off. Okay, 12 of those. Some of you don't have bands. You're gonna grab a dumbbell, feet side by side, hand right here on your stomach, and you're gonna crunch and crunch. Okay, so you're working your own same muscle group, just different type of movement. That one's 12 per side. Okay, the last one, I'm gonna lunge down, I'm gonna bend that back knee, I'm gonna lean slightly. And I'll do six, and then I'll do six, okay? All right, so let's start with the first one, either toe taps or 
12 squats. So if you're doing toe taps, one, one, two, two to 24. If you're doing squats, you'll hold a weight and do 12 of them. All right, I'm gonna have you guys count your own reps on this because it's gonna be very different pace, all right? So you guys go ahead and start. Jeremy, is it six lunges and six individual kickbacks, or is it one lunge and six kickbacks? It'll be one lunge and six kickbacks. All right, so right now you guys are either doing 24 toe taps, one, one, two, two, three, three, or you're doing 12 nice deep squats for me. And those y'all doing the toe taps, you're just barely gently tapping the top. And that's real fast pace. No, none of that. You're going to throw your hip out, Betsy. <laughs> y'all, uh, I wish for y'all that you could just watch what Betsy does on camera like half the time. <laughs> it's, it's worth the price of admission. All right, so we're going into either back extension with the twist or a side crunch with the dumbbell. Okay. So if you're doing the side crunch, you're going to do 12 per side. If you're doing the back extension and twist, it's 12 total. So hey, everybody that's doing that back extension, you should feel like you are struggling to keep that band against your chest. If you're not, put your hands closer together. We want to make the upper back do some work here. And everybody's feet should be side by side. If they're out too wide, you can't rotate as much. And as you start to get finished, you'll get into a lunge. You'll get into a lunge and do your kickbacks. Okay? So you guys don't have to wait on me. You can go ahead and get into your lunge with the tricep kickback. Everybody that's in that lunge, drop your back knee down much lower, much lower. That's better. Good. That's correct. Yep. So, um, Sarah, it's in your right hand. That means your right foot is forward. And then your left knee will drop down. Correct. Right there. So whatever side you're holding the weight on, that's the leg that we want forward, gang. So six per side. And then what I want you to do is, all you're gonna do is take a big deep breath and then do it again, because you're starting up the list. Good, good. The closer you can get that back knee to the ground, the better. Good, y'all, good, good, good. So hey, Jamie, come to here and just kick straight back. Yep, so keep the elbow high. There you go. Better. Better, better, better. And then after you've done the lunge and kick back twice, then you come back up and you do either back extension with the twist or the side crunch. Good, Leah. Good form, girl. As y'all finish in the lunge, I want that back knee right above the ground. Good, good, y'all. Remember, y'all, on that back extension, we keep the arms totally straight. We never bend the elbows. We want them straight through the entire movement. Good, y'all, good. If you're doing that side crunch, you get your hand right on your belly button. And then as you're starting to finish those up, you're either doing 24 toe taps or 12 squats. Good, quick pace, Betsy Boo. Quick, 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 quick. There you go, good, yeah. So hey, Nicole, Nicole, so get into your lunge, hold, and just kick this straight back. So hey, don't go in and out of your lunge. 
So just stay in the lunge. Silly girl. <laughs> Miss Maria, I want you to really focus on when you do your squats, hon. Try not to lean forward, really keep your shoulders back for me. Yes, better, better, better. All right, if you're just starting to finish up, all you're gonna do is take a big deep breath and then you start again, okay? And I want you to take real long because I know we're starting to kind of get on different movements and pace here. So if you just finished going back up the list, which was toe taps or squats, Start back down the list, okay, which is the same movement. So either toe taps or 12 more squats. 12. So it's, it's, um, it's pull it, twist, twist, and that's one. Good. See if you can get your knees up a little bit, Kelly. Come back over and do just a few more for me. And then get your knees higher there. So when you come, actually, this will be your last one. Yeah, better. That's kind of what I'm wanting for you, okay? Good. Everybody doing those back extensions right now. Remember, elbows locked and take your wrists and point them down. Like, roll them down for me. Good, 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 good. Do you bring your, I have a question. Go ahead, Leah. The back extensions, I'm out of breath. Um, <laughs> do you put your arms together every time and then redo it? You do. Yep, okay. let the tension off every rep. Okay. Good, y'all. Good. Keep working, Miss Catherine. You're doing great, girl. That was it. Hang on, I'm going to unmute you, Catherine. Go ahead, girl. I can't put my wrist down. I can only do it up. Oh, I see. You got a, you got a long double band. Okay, that's that's. But okay. I just can't. I just can't put my wrist down like that because I have a bad wrist. Yeah. See, I I would have thought being bent would have been worse because that would have mimicked a push up. Right. So, so it's it's just doesn't bend that way sometimes. It's just wrong. <laughs> I got you. Okay. All right. That's totally fine. If you know what you need to be doing, that's totally fine. Okay. Y'all that are doing those back extensions, hey, real important. Pack your core in nice and tight. After every, right at the start of every rep, pack your core in. Good, Miss Otta. See if you can bend that right knee for me. Right there. Good, good, Martha Arango. Good form. Nice, y'all. Nice. Remember, you do six per side on that lunge and kickback, and then you just start again because you got to work back up the list. Let's keep working here, gang. Let's keep working. We just got a couple more minutes, all right? Let's everybody work right up until the end. All right, keep moving, keep working. Let's try not to take a, a stop or a break until we get done. We got about 75 seconds left of work here, all right? So everybody keep working, keep pushing. Focus on that form and your breath, right? Each rep needs a breath with it. Bend that back knee a little bit, Kel. Right there, good, good. Keeping everything real tight. Come on, Coach Ann, you got it, babe. Real strong. Packing the core in real tight. Good, good. Good, as you go to rotate, guys, on that back extension, it's coming from your trunk, from your core. Okay, you're not generating it because of your arms. Betsy Boo, see if you can keep the band right against your chest. Right there. So even as you rotate, good, good, better, better.
Cheryl, try to keep your hip, don't let your hips roll quite as much as you twist. There you go. Better, better. Good. Leah, I want you to give me a two second count at the bottom of each of those squats, girl. All right, get down there, one, two, up. Good, do it again down there, one, two, up, just like that. All right, you can do it. You can do it, Leah, you're strong, girl. Good, nice and quick, Team Tucker. Who's gonna get up that mountain first? Amy or Philip? Who's getting up that mountain quickest? Philip said, mm, me. Boom. <laughs> good, 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 good. Jamie, keep your, uh, when you do your squat, make sure that weight doesn't drift down your body. Keep it up nice and high by your chin. Right there, yes. Good, 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 good. So you guys, so I want everybody, if you're not already to the move, either do your 12 squats or do your 24 toe taps and then we're gonna be finished, all right? Good, that's it, that's it, y'all. Hey, Maria, spread your feet out about an inch or two. And then see if you can, there we go. Now that's helping you get a little bit lower. That's what we want. So you're gonna finish up with either 24 toe taps or 12 squats. Cause it is, uh, we're actually just a couple of minutes past time here. And then we're gonna be down on your mat stretching. So if your camera angle is up, go ahead and angle it down for me so that I can, uh, I can keep an eye on if you're doing this first stretch right, it's gonna be a little bit different way of doing it. All right, gang, so here's what you're gonna do for me. You're gonna be down on the mat. We've done this stretch a lot. It's just gonna be a different angle, a different way of doing it. So you're gonna bend your left leg, take your right leg, sweep it around, and now instead of we normally come here, you're gonna to come to the inside. So you're gonna bring your hands, put them right in front of your ankles, and you're gonna push into the ground and try to sit up tall, okay? So you're gonna feel this. This is, a, this is a very different position than how we normally do this, okay? And that's intentional, right? We did so much rotation and twisting today. I wanna make sure that we are Properly stretching out your hips, your lower back, your oblique, and what's called your psoas, right? It's kind of the muscle that connects your, your abs down to your pelvis. Okay, let's go ahead and switch slowly to the other side. And the further behind your body you can get that back leg, the better. Okay, but if it needs to be more bent and out to the side because of your flexibility, that's okay too. So take your hands, stack them up on top of each other. And you wanna try, if you can, to put them right in front of your ankle and then push down into the ground and try to straighten your arms out. So it's, like, it's almost like you're pushing into posture and at the same time, driving the hip down to the ground. Good, good, better y'all. Few more seconds. All right, go ahead and slowly come out of that. You're gonna still be seated, but just take your legs and go out real nice and wide for me. All right, what I want you to do is take both hands and reach out to your left ankle or toe and hold on to something. And just gently, so if you get to your toes, great. But if you can't, hold on to your ankles or your knees or something. But I want your hand, I don't want your hands like this. I want them side by side. Because what that does enables us to stretch out your lower back more than if they're separated. And just gently apply a little bit of pressure. Like you're just kind of gently pulling yourself with that grip. And then slowly come up. Switch to the other side.
Everybody see if you can hold on where you're at, but take your shoulders, pull them back and down. Good, better, better. All right, slowly come out of that. Keep your feet where they're at and just crawl your hands out to the middle as far out as you can get. And what I'm gonna have you do is take a couple of big deep breaths on each of the exhales. See if you can go an inch or so further out. So breathe in, exhale, and try to get out there and then hold that position and right where you're at, don't come in, but hold right where you're at, do it again. Breathe in, exhale, and try to go out another inch or two and just hold that deepest position. Good, all right, slowly start coming out of that. You're gonna sit however is comfortable for you. So you can cross the legs, feet straight out, whatever feels comfortable. What I'm gonna have you do is take your right arm, lay it over across your ear, take your left, and gently, don't pull straight down, because it's gonna pull your neck. And, but just kind of gently pull to the side, and then you should feel it stretching down your side, down your obliques. And also feel a little bit, depending on if you got the right angle, you'll feel a little bit kind of down into your rear delts, the part of your shoulders, down into your lats. Okay, and go ahead and switch. Some of y'all got spirit fingers going on. <laughs> Give me a J. Give me an E. <laughs> Give me an R. <laughs> All right, a few more seconds here. All right, go ahead and slowly come out of that. Big, deep breath, crawl the way overhead. Exhale. Do that one more time. Big, deep breath, reach up towards the sky as high as you can. Exhale and let it fall. All right, gang, uh, I am going to unmute you all. Uh, and just real quickly, just wanted to touch base. You guys are muted, so if you got music playing, go ahead and turn that music off. Uh, I just wanted to uh, thank you all for so much of your feedback on, you know, we were contemplating opening or not. And, you know, I kind of knew all along in my heart right to open just because the governor says we can doesn't necessarily mean that we should, right? Because I just believe when you think about a gym, right? We're sweating, we're breathing heavy. Yeah. I had lots of precautions all set up and ready to rock and roll. I measured everything off, but in my heart, I just felt like it was not right, right? What confirmed it for me were three of my athletes, their parents are in the medical field and they were adamant. It's too soon. We haven't, we were supposed to have 14 days in a row of declining cases and we'd had like three or four in a row. So I just felt like it wasn't right. I get it, I, tr I uh, trust me, I understand. You guys wanna get back there. I wanna get back there for lots of reasons, right? The energy, being around everybody and all that and finances, right? I get it, but y'all safety is priority number one. Right. I think we can still get <laughs> amazing results on these Zoom workouts. So I'm gonna reevaluate at the end of next week. If the cases have continued to decline, we could possibly open that following Monday, okay? Um, but we're just gonna do it on a week by week basis. Uh, I just don't wanna open and then you know, get shut down again. Right. So Good thank plan. you guys for your patience. I appreciate y'all uh, showing up. I appreciate your hard work today. I hope you guys uh, will get outside and enjoy this unbelievable weather we're having. It's great. You might be walking the same paths you've been walking every day for a month, but just enjoy it. All right. Thank you guys for being Thank here. You, Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good plan. Bye-bye. Bye. I've heard a lot of calories today. <laughs>